What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. We got NFL players versus NFL refs. Let's Some check this out. Thousands for trash talking refs. Who's 88? Who's a Josh Norman? He sucked. To refs and Damn. players getting freaky on live hey, TV. Hey, yo. Nah, bro. What is this? Hold on. Live TV. Nah, bro tried to cop a field, gang. I know, bro. Chris Lindstrom, yeah, ain't down with that, gang. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, no, that's not Chris Lindstrom. Look, Chris Lindstrom right there. The NFL player versus NFL ref moments. Starting with Alvin Kamara. He okay. sent a ref to the emergency room. Wait, what? Oh, I remember this. And after all the screaming, players standing around, then the ref eventually getting stretchered out. The ref was rushed to the emergency room where doctors found out he had a broken leg, Damn. dislocated knee, Ooh. and needed surgery. But another ref went even more viral when he beat Justin Jefferson in a ref. Oh, I saw this. <laughs> play, the ref not only kept up with Jefferson, that ref a little was booking it, gang. His way. Dude turned into Usain Bolt and ran faster than Jefferson no the rest bullshit. of the week. Ant, bro, Ant, look at that, bro. Dude turned into Usain Bolt and ran faster than Jefferson the rest of the Nah, bro, bro got better technique than some DBs, <laughs> gang. The ref speed went more viral than the touchdown. I mean, fans called it a highlight for the ref, and even players were yapping about it. Look at Tyree Walton running faster than Justin Jefferson. But refs aren't always being glazed. Because Travis Kelsey and a ref once got into such a crazy beef, it got him kicked out of a game. I remember this after clip. Kelsey was being tackled while trying to make a play, he felt like it was clearly pass interference. Bro, you got to keep your cool in these type of spots, so bro. I ain't going to lie called, to you. He not only screamed in the ref's face. Kelsey is hot. Kelsey mocked the ref by pretending his towel was a flag and threw that. <laughs> Which instantly got him ejected. Crazy. That moment was history, man. Kelsey, yeah, Kelsey became is the a hot best head, player bro. in NFL history to call a penalty on a ref. But I'm sure we've all seen players beefing with refs before. Yeah. I never, ever thought I'd see players and refs getting freaky. Hey, yo! And they say incidental contact. Rodney Harris. Why the? Okay, bro. Nah, gang, bro. Come on, they got a whole handful of both ass cheeks. The hell? Look at him. And this is recent. This was recently too, bro. Cause KB right there. This had to be like last year. Go together. Look at it. Nigga tried to get get a center straight back uh, shots, gang. This was the NFL, not the HUB. I didn't come here to see men get bent over or cheeks getting clapped. So uh, let's just skip to Yo. another ref who capped just to stop a player from scoring the easiest touchdown of their career. Corner of the end zone. Defender slips incomplete. Watch the official throw his hat on the right side of your screen. Uh, oh my god, that not right that's not that crazy with his hat. His head game must have been lame, man. Eh? How's all these refs be doing weird things to ruin games? <laughs> I ain't even mad that players do this. Holding <laughs> and he just got pummeled behind that Damn. offensive line. Ooh. <laughs> behind that offensive line. That <laughs> Yo, now that, that's funny as shit. Some rush be, be deserving that too, bro. I ain't gonna There's lie. No way those balls tasted, smelt, or felt good at all. Pause. Not every player has the balls to humiliate refs. Like Garrett person. Wilson. Some of the craziest moments between refs and players happened on social media. Okay. First was Garrett Wilson when he made a catch and got hit out of bounds late. Damn. Obviously should have been a flag, but when nothing was called. Of course he was pissed because he felt like he'd been getting hoed by the refs all year long. That's why he tweeted. I didn't get a call all season. One ref told me this ain't Ohio State no more. Not as crazy. Really nah, me personally, bro. Me and that ref would have had to scrap. I ain't gonna lie to you. Some shit like that to me. I'd be out there like. First down run. But that's not the only time a player was beefing with refs on the timeline. Because after Micah Parsons knocked over a QB and the refs threw him a flag for roughing the passer, he felt like that call was complete bullshit. Yeah, that was. That's why he posted that was, IG, yes, Free me, dog. Whatever I did to those officials, I'm sorry. <laughs> Micah even showed a pick proving that not only was he not roughing the nah, passer, that's crazy. the Dolphins were literally holding him. But all right, players ain't always crying about refs. Sometimes they hit refs in the face like Damn. Floyd Mayweather. Because after the Seahawks got called for roughing the passer, DJ Humphreys got into it with a Seahawks player and accidentally hit a ref in the head with a left hook. Damn. So, of course they had the ref's panties all they up in a twist. They Number kicked him out. Been disqualified yeah. for the rest of the game. Man, these soft ass zebras are always messing up games. Facts. Even those weren't as bad as when refs ruined one of the best performances of an NFL star's career. 
which I'm kind of glad they did, because I showed up to this game as a Ravens fan, and things were crazy. Oh, Phil was a Ravens fan too? Shout out crazy to bro. touchdown after crazy touchdown. Jamar Chase was lighting up the Ravens. Hey, I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. Russ were on our dick the whole game, so I didn't feel no sympathy for these niggas. I'm going to keep it a buck. A touchdown with less than a minute left. And like, bro, and they were up 21-7, so it's not, it's not our fault y'all lost the fucking game, the bro. needed him to make one more miracle happen. Looks that way, throws that way, caught, chase, what a night. Touchdown. And like, bro, these niggas Dang. decide to go for two. Like, hey, bro. In their favor. The Bengals wanted to risk it all with a two-pointer to win the game until. Chase to the left side. To the right side he goes. Incomplete at the goal Strap. Line. But watch how physical this route is. He's got two Ravens on him. They grab a hold of him, and he right away. That's defensive holding right there. That they Suck it up. Hold. Yeah, it Pause. was really defensive holding before the pass was in flight. Hey, yeah, Gasicki was bitching the whole game too, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that's rough in the passer right there. Passer should have been called. Clowns missed an obvious face mask, an obvious holding call, and an obvious pass interference call, all in the biggest play of the goddamn game, man. So Jamar's 264 yard, three touchdown career game was completely ruined, all because of the refs. But sometimes it's refs tough. are so blind, they get trolled in front of the entire world. Just pay attention to number 99 here. He was simply doing his job by chasing a player down and making okay. the tackle like he was supposed to. But for no reason at all, the refs called holding. Like, bro, what? Wait, I had to what? rewind to make sure I wasn't blind. Because dude barely even touched anybody. No wonder why the announcers were confused. Huh? Defense, number 99. Not as crazy, bro. Very common, but not very commonly called. And after all of that, the players want some explanations, man. Hey, bro, what was the penalty? Holding, 99. Defense. Can I invest in uh, some glasses for some people? Y'all got a fund for that? Like, it's not a bribe. I just want you guys to be able to see clearly. Please not for real, real, bro. All right. Offering to buy refs glasses is crazy work. Because I'm a four eyes. And trust me, these things suck. But to make the situation even crazier, the eye company LASIK that's known for doing I eye think I remember this. to fix people's vision yeah. actually offered free surgery yep. to any NFL refs just to fix their eyes. So LASIK's been tweeting proof of refs missing calls and clowning. I mean, like, this is the most blatant face mask call of all time bro like the ref was looking directly at it like what more evidence do you need to call a flag on this like this lineman who tackled his opponent which allowed his team to score and should have been called holding nah, that's then crazy. LASIK let the refs know that they were still available there was also the time a player hit his opponent from the back which Pause. even announcers knew was a penalty it should have been a foul for defensive pass interference but after no flag LASIK tweeted the video saying better vision better calls <laughs> yes we are still offering NFL refs yo LASIK, LASIK bro <laughs> there was the one <laughs> ref who missed this face mask penalty that pretty much broke a player's neck damn that, finally had LASIK specifically calling out a ref saying we tried to give ron torbert free lasik but uh -huh. he missed the call now That's that was kind of hilarious kind of corny but regardless i've heard of refs getting clowned plenty of times before i never thought i'd hear about a player getting a flag just for hyping up his teammates huh Sarah thomas her first year in the league yeah Lee. threw a flag on me for saying good <laughs> ain't no I'll fucking way bro get the out of me. i said good she threw the flag. Referee, come on. I'm sportsmanlike conduct. I'm 53 <laughs> defense. I said, what the? Bro, that's some hating ass Coach, shit, bro. You said the N word. <laughs> <laughs> you finna get me cut? Cause I said, good shit. Oh my God. Boy. But me and her been friends ever since then. It had gotta be. Cause I had to tell about it. So the next like, time bro, I saw her. Whole... You better come with my whole job. You better come with my whole job, lady. Cause you want to be a rookie out here doing your job. You better relax. I'm talking to my friend. <laughs> now, all right, if crazy, you ask bro. me, that sounds like sportsmanlike conduct. Facts. Unsportsmanlike is a penalty for players who fight, not hype up their boys, man. These refs are ridiculous. But other player versus ref moments were they so much more what ridiculous. The fuck? They got players find tens of thousands of dollars starting with travis kelsey kelsey again? Team was just going for a two-point conversion okay. and after they scored it to tie the game kelsey was hyped till he saw the refs throw a flag for holding i was stunned too man 
So I'm used to the refs actually d the Chiefs. At least this time the refs were right. Because replay showed Kelsey's teammate damn near clothesline his opponent and tackle him. Yep. So even though the ref got the correct call, Kelsey this, this is This is before Mahomes and them started to win a lot of Super Bowls. Who called bro. the ref out? You fight all year. You fight all game. For it to end like that, the ref literally taking it out of our hands. That I mean, bro, it's a clear blatant holding call, though. Like, take over the game, man. Nigga, bro, shut your bitch ass up, Kelsey. Come on now. Stop bitching. Making plays, making plays, the momentum getting on our side, and then just get our juggling. Well, if anything, you should be taking your anger out on the offensive lineman who cost you all the game. The fuck, nigga? Because the refs felt bad for James Harrison falling on the ground. The ref number 51 shouldn't even be able to wear a zebra jersey ever again. Wah, wah. Womp womp. Now, all right, even womp, though womp. saying that the ref shouldn't even have a job at Foot Locker is funny, the NFL wasn't laughing. They felt like Kelsey went too far, yeah. so they fined him over $12,000. That's not enough. But I ain't another legend was fined double that amount. Josh There's Norman. a moment with the refs that was twice as crazy. Because during a game between the Bengals and Redskins, it seemed like the refs were only throwing flags against the Redskins one team. And break. And from horse collar tackles like this that are always flagged to clear face mask penalties that weren't called. Damn! Oh my gosh! Face mask that wasn't called. <laughs> Even the announcers knew the refs were messing up. But when it came Bro, to the Bro, you trying to kill people out there again? The somehow see this less obvious face mask and threw the flag. They called petty penalties against Josh Norman for illegal use of hands to the face. Not nah, just I once. Ain't, I ain't gonna lie it was that, called that against was. them again not long after. Then a third time. Dude wow. was pissed. And even after hella penalties, Norman's squad still somehow ended up tying the game. But wow. since he felt like they would have won if it weren't for the refs, he still spazzed up. Who's 88? I gotta know. I just gotta know. Who's official 88? <laughs> he sucked. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be straightforward. Hey, terrible. I, I fuck with players that that keep it p. You know what I'm saying? And, and don't sugarcoat shit in these interviews, bro. Because somebody, somebody gotta say something. Like he should be reprimanded. I feel like some of the plays that was going on out there was just, I mean, it, it was terrible to the point we go down and feel Crowder scores blatant face mask. Blatant. We get a touchdown, no call. Now defense, we go out there, we stop him for a run. We get in there, he said we call a face mask, but there was no evidence of that. It was a scrumble. <laughs> How did you see the scrumble face mask, but you did not see the blatant one where it was just him? Right. The other person, like, jeez. I've never in my life had seven and like flags on me ever. If you really want to be honest with it, every time through the ball, I feel like this is gonna be a flag. Oh, okay, here you go. Now, let me not touch the guy. Let let the guy push off on me, but let me not touch him. Mm -hmm. How do you play like that? It's crazy. How? It don't make any sense. <laughs> Norman really put the hey, bro. A lot, a lot of a lot more players should be like that. I mean, just keep it a buck with you, bro. Because I feel like a lot of players now are just like too scared of getting fined and shit, and what the NFL is gonna do to them that they. Don't really let out their frustrations in these type of interviews. Everyone, which is kind of why the NFL fined him $25,000. I mean, shit, that's the best twenty five grand he'll ever be spent, nigga. Ref and shit. Player, came after one of the most embarrassing losses in NFL history. The Chargers started scoring touchdown after touchdown, eventually yep. running the score up 27 to 0. I thought things were beyond over, so I I don't know how the Jags the came, came until back, Until the bro. Jags scored not one, not two, but three touchdowns. And after all that scoring, eventually came a controversial play. Lawrence fires in the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Okay, well, what was controversial about now, this? That wasn't just any normal touchdown. Looking at things from a different angle, Joey Bosa not only saw this player make a Ooh, slightly early false run, start. should have been called a false start. Bosa was getting held around his neck the entire time. Damn. Bosa should have been holding. Uh, like, bro, just tell, just tell the nigga you love him. Shit, you ain't got to give him a hug, just man. what their job was and didn't call anything. So not only did the Jags score and cut the Chargers lead down to nearly nothing, the missed calls had Bosa smashing his helmet on the ground. Hard to deny smash. Never mind. That missed Whoa. ball shifted momentum to the Jags about to side, say there, bro. which led to them eventually pulling off the largest comeback in their franchise's history. So, uh, of That's course, crazy. Bosa went crazy. I need to be more accountable for my actions, obviously, but obviously. It's, uh, it's a heated game. Can someone else say obviously? For my actions, obviously, but obviously. it's uh, someone said, obviously. a obviously game, and I'm hurting out there. I'm playing on half a leg. I'm getting dragged to the Damn, ground. Half a leg is crazy. could hurt me along with screwing our team um maybe some of them weren't as blatant as i thought but um 
I don't know. It's, uh, I think there just needs to be more accountability on, uh, I mean, if I say something to them, I get a $40,000 fine, but if they blow a call that ruins an entire team's season, Facts. they're probably... Hey, I do, I do I do, agree with that. I feel like if refs, like, miss a blatant call like that, they need to be fine, too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because they be getting on players for, you know what I'm saying, talking shit in the interviews on calling out refs, bro, and they get fined, like, twenty five. You know what I'm saying? Thirty thousand dollars and shit. I feel like ref should be fined as well, bro, for missing blatant like pass interference call, face mask calls, you know what I'm saying, that cost the team a game. Maybe like thirty thousand maybe start finding these niggas thirty thousand dollars for every missed call, bro. Like real shit. In the locker room. Cause like it's getting out of hand now, bro. Uh, yeah, Ref's been on bullshit this year. Yards, it's been at an all time high. Guarantee it. That's what they're talking like in the back. Whatever. Power trip. I'm sick of those people. <laughs> and going in that hard. It's tough, bro. Pause. Obviously wasn't gonna get him a warning. It got him fined fifty five thousand dollars. Fifty five thousand for that? Okay, bro. NFL, come on, gang. Yeah, that that's kind of soft. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. Fifty five thousand, bro. Niggas are getting fined fifty five thousand dollars for expressing themselves, bro. Real shit. Like, come on, gang. Damn. That ain't it. Rex is doing the most for real, but bro. Last and definitely not least. What refs did to these final players was so controversial, it got something banned forever. During a game between the Dolphins and Patriots, the weather was so bad that players were fumbling the ball, Damn. falling on their face after slipping on ice. I love me a good snow game, bro. Because there was snow everywhere. So with conditions this bad, when the Patriots lined up for a game-winning field goal with the score tied bro, zero, for, for a second, I thought this was Tom Brady holding the fucking <laughs> zero. Nobody expected him to make it. Until someone drove onto the field with a snowplow to clear a perfect path for the kicker, bro. Oh yeah, that's banned that. now. I don't think the refs would allow it. That was basically cheating. Yeah. So not even the old head announcer. Like the, I, I think the only thing you can use to like clean up that snow is like your actual hands. You can't use a towel or anything. You're witnessing. Just a moment ago, the guy who handles the little brush machine came out on the field here to make a place for John Smith to spot the ball. There you see it. That's flash crazy. mark at the right of your screen. I've never seen anything like that in all the years I've played, Jay, for a man to come out onto the field and clean a spot. That's a crazy, bro. Not only did the old head announcers not believe what they were witnessing, even the Dolphins coach was stunned. A snowplow was never allowed in a single game ever until Facts. now. So, of course, it helped the kicker make it to basically win the wow, game. Wow, bro. I would have been livid, gang. The coach not only said the snowplow was the most unfair act ever perpetrated in NFL history. He met with the commissioner to try and get the results of the game overturned. But even though that didn't work, the commissioner Man. agreed that the snowplow gave the Patriots an unfair advantage. So, snowplows were officially banned. Shit, if it gave them an unfair advantage, then why not reverse the call, then? Like, bro. These refs are crazy, but not as crazy as NFL fans. Like, <laughs> yeah, Diddy was really getting involved with NFL players. I don't know how you could see that and not click this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I ain't even gonna lie, but I'm gonna have to react to that. But uh, I wanna know what you guys think down in the comments below. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what other NFL videos y'all want me to react to. Without further ado, I'm out. Yeah!